So do you have an internal moral compass? What does that mean? It's the decision maker that you have internally within you. It's a, a moral code that you uh, resonate with when you're making business decisions or life decisions as well. The reason why I'm talking about this today is this is the topic of my presentation that I'll be doing for a small business center here in the Quinney area uh, on Women's Day, International Women's Day. And the hashtag is balance for better. And I think it's kind of a neat hashtag this year. Uh, previously, it's been press for progress, which I thought was really good as well. But the balance for better, I thought was really neat because um, as female entrepreneurs or female women in business, we do wear many hats, as do our male counterparts as well. But um, what we're speaking about at this event is how to handle those types of complexities and how to succeed in varying, how would you say, pressures that we receive in, in industry, with family, and our own expectations as well. And I took some time to think about this. So I was asked to speak and I went, oh yeah, I wanna do this. I have no idea what I wanna talk about at all, but I'm sure I'll find something to talk about because I love talking and I love talking to entrepreneurs and I love helping people and empowering people to be their best. Uh, mainly because so many people have helped me and empowered me as well, that it's a way to just pay it forward. It makes the world such a better place for my three daughters that uh, myself and my husband are, are grooming to be hopefully entrepreneurs as well. So as I sat down and thought about this, I'm like, golly gee, what am I going to talk about? And um, what came to mind was the value set that I have the the strong moral code that I have, the unbreakable moral code that I have. Um, some people may refer to that as tenacity and pigheadedness. That's fine. I'm, I'm totally cool with that. Everybody has their opinions and I totally respect that. But what is this moral code that I keep referencing to? Is it some sort of app on my, my phone and whatnot? No, it's not. And uh, so Duke, the 90 pound, used to be 85 golden retriever has now joined us so in case you're wondering what the huffing and puffing is all about it's him so the strong moral code is really what i resonate to when i need to make decisions uh decisions in life looking at what creates that moral code would be my values what do i value what do i want out of life and i'm a big goal setter so i'm always looking at those attributes and those goals and is what I am doing in line with them. So this internal moral compass for me includes things like integrity, family, friendship, transparency, growth. Okay, Duke, just push me to the side. <laughs> Care and love for animals. <laughs> okay, he sat down now, so that's great. And, and that's really what, what helps. And that has helped me through thick and thin, uh, being able to look at opportunities as they come forth, and understand, are they in tune with what I want for myself, what I want for my journey, what I want for myself as a mother to my children, as a wife, as a uh, role model in industry, as an adult figure skater empowering youth to do their best. Um, all these things all relate back to my moral code, which is my internal compass. So I encourage you to think about things that you can start aligning to being your moral compass and rely on that when you're making decisions. Decisions come at you left, right, and center, prepared or unprepared. And sometimes you just need to take a moment and think about what is it, what makes you you? What makes you unique? What makes you an empowering woman? What makes you that awesome entrepreneur? What is going to help you push yourself forward in your journey, not somebody else's? And that is following your own moral compass. So I hope this has helped you. It's been great practice for me with my speech that I have to do. Hopefully we'll add a bit more and we won't have Duke the Golden Retriever with us. But anywho, it should be fun. Have yourself a wonderful day. Bye.